Mrs. Filtane, the Filtane children, grandchildren, family members and friends. UTM Deputy President Mr. Nabayom Zikwankwa, Honorable Member Nomampondo Mise Yako from EFF, Eastern Cape Provincial Government Reps, National, Provincial and Regional Leadership of the UTM, the UTM Public Representatives, uh, Superintendent Reverend Vanga, members of the UTM, members from other political organizations present here, the people of Tanga village and the larger areas of area of Ngoma. I spoke to Mr. Filtane on Friday the 20th November of November when he was about to be admitted to hospital due to low oxygen level uh, rather levels I told him to go rest and get well and that we would see each other soon when I chatted with Mrs. Filtane one of the things I said was to take away Mr. Filtane's phone and tablet because he had to rest. The next thing I heard was that the, he demanded his tablet on Sunday, Saturday. That was him. He was clearly suffering from, rather suffering the symptoms uh, of information withdrawal. When I got that early morning call on Sunday from his son Mpatisi, his simple words were Utata Wambile. It was a massive blow. These past few months have been without a doubt some of the saddest in the U United Democratic Movement as history, as well as loss, as, well, as we lost so many of our senior leaders. May all their souls rest in peace. To Mrs. Filtane, the children, grandchildren, siblings, and all other family members, I want to express the condolences of the entire. UTM national leadership and in the name of the party. Zizi will be missed on so many levels, not only in our political activities at the UTM but also our personal lives. The time now is to mourn, but I want to console you and say that this will be, or rather this will pass in time. Mrs. Fintane, you are already part of the UTM family. So please continue with your dedication to the party. But only once you feel strong enough. When the UTM Deputy President Nabayom Zikwangwa so eloquently spoke at Mr. Fintane's memorial service on Thursday, he said that we should do what is right and remember the life of this man and honor his memory. So I set myself to the task to remember the Mkabisi Filtane I knew. I came across a quote from the late Dr. Maya Angelo that sounded like something he could have said, and I quote, My mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive, and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style, close quote. I just want to add a few of his other missions in life. 
his devotion, discipline, and compassionate service to the people, especially the poor and vulnerable. He was result-oriented, and he resented failing people. Zizi had a warm personality and a quick and clever sense of humor. Two other things I also recall was Mr. Filtane's love of words, expression and oration, and of course his rabbi, the rabbi. In 1976, when I was playing, uh, when I played number 14 for the Orientals Rugby Club, and we played against his Wallabies team, I once raced for the try line with the late father of the Springbok Ndungane twins, giving chase, he was chasing me. I still have a vivid memory of the Wallabies fans madly shouting or screaming, Mambelo <laughs> Joni! Mr. Fildane and his close friend, late Mr. Kalaza, were shouting the same thing from behind the poles. So, number eight, one, Kwa Wallabies, Kwa Orientals, I'm white. Tetano White is now for 25 meters with. That means a blind side. Scrum off when a puma tonally, white or puma tatty ball, and then Gallows is dead. Why flick a boom? Lay Mundungan in a party lava from Gondal from your club. A tatty, that you can talk one again and I'm Kumikali. We had also met each other from time to time during my time as the then head of the Transkei government on issues of business and sport. I remember that he used to live in Node, Banpazam, a grand suburb of Mtata, and now it sadly is a shadow of its former self. More potholes than the roads, than roads. When Mr. Fintana started to explore politics, he bought into the simple truth of the UDM's main goal, which is to better the lives of all South Africans. Our mission statement aligned with his personal values, and I want to share it with you in his memory. I quote, we will unite South Africans from all communities in a new political home built on the foundation of the principles and ideals of our national constitution. To this end, we will address poverty and imbalances in our society inspired by our unifying love of our country and its people. We will set free the creative power inherent in our diversity and we will cooperate with all stakeholders to ensure a quality life and individual freedom for every citizen based on good governance and civil order towards being a winning nation. These were goals he was willing to fight for and for which he worked himself to a standstill. Good governance and civil order were matters of great concern for Mr. Fintan. Looking after public resources and ensuring that they are used for the social and economic upliftment of our people was paramount in his mind. When he and I would discuss the issues of the day and the state of the nation, he would ask, General, when will this looting stop? He was genuinely worried about the future of the people of this province in particular. We would recall the Transkei days and activism when we were still young men. When in 1994 came and in the years thereafter, the people of this province 
place their trust in leaders who masqueraded and, parade, and paraded as the savers of the oppressed. Little did we know how misplaced that trust would be. Simply put, the comrades have betrayed the struggle. The revelations at the Zondo Commission and other commissions prove our suspicions that the ruling elite was plundering state coffers to line their own pockets and that of the ruling party itself, taking resources away from the people they claim to champion. The UDM is proud that our years long agitation and pressure around the issues of promoting ethics of good governance are starting to yield results. At least Mr. Filtane witnessed the first vestiges of political will to have these criminals arrested. I make this undertaking in Mr. Filtane's memory that whilst the UDM is still around, we will fight anarchy and corruption, tooth and nail. In line with Mr. Filtane's passion to better the lives of our rural citizens, the UDM will continue to cause of having the collapse of Matanzma-era infrastructure in the area repaired, upgraded and integrated into the larger infrastructure scheme of South Africa. Mr. Filtane joined the UTM parliamentarians in 2014 and was a complete natural. He was thought of as one of the most hard-working members of the National Assembly. He was always prepared for meetings and, and had diligently studied meetings material. Mr. Filtane had a good mind of de for details which made him well suited for the lawmaking process. He, of course, loved a good debate and was a master of art, rather a master of, of the artful interjection. In particular, he made a sterling contribution during his time as part of the ad hoc committee to initiate and introduce legislation amending section 25 of the Constitution, Genda Bayom Yes, we are thinking of a in a posha, a strong, not pamba. General, it any position here to blend on club. Did you have the last one to ask me that question? Because as long as the Suga Etran Sky, Sakumu Uluma Tanzim, what Patishai ties in Pretoria, because they claim them that. Because the senior UTM is clear. It's against the land of the ruling party. You have to land on my calling on 1912. You claim them that. That means 67% they are corners. So, in fact, the whole truth of them is calling on 1912. Why would that feel done what? In particular, he made a sterling contribution during his time as part of the ad hoc committee. In 2019, he became the UTM's leader in the Eastern Cape Legislature and he used his well honed skill to great effect. UTM will forever be in indebted to him for his telling contribution in both these legislatures. How do we honor Mnetis Filtane's life? It would be a sad day to see Mr. Filtane's labors go to waste. We cannot allow that to happen. In fact, UDM must build on the hard work he has done to build this party and South Africa. I want to echo the words of my deputy and say to the UGM leaders and members in Mwuma, go search for, from, 
from inside the party and without for like-minded people to join the cause of transforming South Africa into a winning nation. The 2021 municipal elections are less than a year away. That is not a lot of time to pull up our socks and find the filterness of this world to champion the UDM's cause. Talking to people in person and on social media, I get the sense that great hopes are pinned on the UDM to effect change in the Eastern Cape. Our responsibility as leaders and members of the UDM is to rise to the challenge and to be the, ch the change people want to see. Lastly, we call on government to make sure that uh, the necessary budget is available and to speed up the process of having a COVID-19 vaccine given to our people for free and to first roll it out in areas like this as COVID-19 does not discriminate and these are vulnerable communities. To Mr. Fintane, we say bon voyage that one of the men and color before the power of Matiba, before the water to Kalaza, before the water to Mbambisa, back and then back as I for money land also see well in a room below region and that this are all on a show it's long ago now that old infrastructure collapses probably then we're going to plan your place hopefully so this is money please no trainer about to call the master for the new particular but who outlook you go to Cockhell, or any outlook you may plan. I try figure your office in Fumasba. I can only close the plans. Then this old jungle reporter will be fired. No filing system. The men are long to learn more about Yakul. So, the president of a country, the Tigusura Ramaphosa, and the committee of the cabinet, without care for any two way. Valentonians are your Bulla Bukebe, City Kubelegani, some supporter. Amanda! Yes. Yes.